And our story is Bubbles Float, Bubbles Pop by Mark Weakland. With a puff of air, bubbles appear like magic. Shimmering, they float through the sunlight. Do you know how bubbles are made? Bubbles form in cold or hot liquids. In a cold glass of soda, bubbles stick to a cherry. In boiling water, bubbles sparkle like diamonds. When a bubble skin gets too thin, the bubble breaks. The gas inside the bubble escapes into the air. Dry hands, wind, and sharp objects cause them to pop. Bubbles always form in the same shape, a sphere. A sphere is perfectly round. Why are bubbles spheres? Why aren't they ovals or cubes? A sphere is a strong shape. For its size, a sphere can hold a large amount of gas. You can make bubbles by blowing air into a liquid, but these bubbles quickly pop. You might see air bubbles in a fish tank. Air bubbles add oxygen to the water. Soap lets you blow bubbles that are less likely to break. Because their soapy skin stretches, soap bubbles last longer than air bubbles. Can you touch a soap bubble? To hold a soap bubble, wet your hands with soap solution. Then gently catch a bubble with your hands. Have you blown a bubble with soft, gooey bubble gum? As you blow in the air, the gum stretches and the bubble grows. The world's largest bubble gum bubble was almost two feet across. What will happen when the gum gets stretched too thin? I think it will pop. Nature is full of bubbles. They sparkle in streams. They froth and foam at the beach. Look for bubbles wherever there is water. Some gas bubbles grow deep in the earth. They push through pools of mud. Finally, mud bubbles burst with a squishy plop. Ugh, now the air stinks. A spittle bug surrounds itself with bubbles. Hiding in a bubbly foam, a young spittle bug is protected from its enemies. Can you find that spittle bug in there? I think it's hiding right there, but that's what it looks like. A polar bear swims underwater. As it swims, it exhales or breathes out bubbles of air. In a tub or pool, you can blow bubbles too. Just breathe out under the water. Every bubble is a tiny world. Look closely. Who is looking back from the bubble? Why, that could be you. And that's all about bubbles. And you can have bubble fun when you come to visit the Discovery Center. Or you can just play with bubbles outside in the summertime because it's so much fun. See you next week for Storytime.